So I didn't really know what to call this video, whether it's like a vlog or a lookbook or a vlog book. Basically, on three different days this week, I'm gonna be taking out three of my favorite people on dates. We're gonna start with David, my boyfriend, then I'm gonna have a girls' night out with my friend Elena, and then I'm gonna take myself on a little self-care day. So it should be hopefully like a fun video. Anyways, today me and David are going mini golfing, which is super cheesy, but like I'm all about it. Apparently he's been wanting to go mini golfing ever since our first date and we've just never gotten around to it. Cause to be honest, we're kind of like an old married couple now. Like most of the time we'll just hang out and talk in my apartment or something. But honestly, like I prefer that with David over like going on a fancy vacation with anybody else, you know? But today mom and dad are going on a little date night. That was a weird way to say it. I'm not pregnant kids. So today we're finally gonna go out. We're gonna have a little date night together. David deserves it because he is so good to me. Um, so let's get into it. Oh, and also a huge thank you to Revolve for sponsoring this video. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's me. Look at all that quality stone. I feel like I'm in medieval Europe. Medieval is closed? <laughs> so. I think we should just go home. With the mini golf course closed, we are going- <laughs> You sound like a narrator. Just do it in a British accent. <laughs> After learning about the closure for the mini golf course, Ashley and David decided to whip out their phones and do some Googling in order to find a suitable alternative for their date. Let's go babysit someone's kids. Sounds you fun. would love that, wouldn't you? <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> That'd be so much fun. We just get to hang out with kids all night. You're getting <clears throat> so husband up after we break up. You already know where to find me on Instagram, DMs. <laughs> I'm kidding. Sky Zone Trampoline Park! It's very you're busy just, right you're now. You're gonna flash everyone, babe. Oh, that's true. I'm gonna become a sex offender for flashing children. Babe, you know what would be a really unique day? What? If we went to the Cheesecake Factory! <laughs> oh, I guess we could just go to the park. Then we can go get some dinner or something. Yeah. Well. At the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> <laughs> that leaf aesthetic. Is that a full winter 2019 trend? Is that Gucci? Give me a spin. No. Oh, gyrate those kids, baby. Okay, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, this is where we're getting dinner, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stand up. Stand up. Yeah. Wait, I'm gonna die. I feel so tall. <laughs> <laughs> want to go do something to take pictures of it and let other people know that you did it. No, that's so true. That's like honestly half of the travel industry now is just people who want to take like a cute Insta pic in Italy or something. Yeah, that's oh, so gross. I just wanna know that song. Know that I might see my for I'm just blinded by Lo and behold, we've ended up back where we always end up, which is my apartment. What We're like in new? this bed for Banging. After a solid like 45 minutes of yelping various places in LA because we were trying to try somewhere new, we were trying to be adventurous, we ended up trying. I do, you're right, I do do the whole hand thing. Yeah, he does his quotation marks with his whole hand. He's like fisting the quotation mark. <laughs> we ended up getting <laughs> Angry Boots, which is the same fucking place we always go. It's like one block away from us in Westwood. We'll, we're gonna fucking devour this in a second because we are hangry moons. This is like an ad for Hangry Boots. Okay. Sponsor her. Imagine Lifetime Supply. Oh, baby. We'd be so fat. <laughs> uh, it, mm. I want to say what I said in the car, but like, it's it's not in the car anymore. <laughs> we 
we're having a really deep conversation in the car, but now it's not coming out the same way. But basically what we're talking about is that there is like a lot of pressure to like go on a fancy date or have like the perfect date mm -hmm. or I don't know. Basically just like spend a lot of money that you don't necessarily need. It doesn't really matter as long as you have somebody that you like spending time with. Wholesome. Well, well said. <laughs> Yay. Ah, oh, the sweet smell of clogged arteries. <laughs> oh. I stacked this one. Or it's just a very long piece, not a very wide piece. Oh, when he's got length but not girth. So my next victim, <clears throat> I mean lovely person that I'm taking out on a date is my friend Elena. Elena is one of the first people on YouTube that I met. She is so kind, she's so smart, she is so creatively talented. I remember I first met her this summer and we had both reached 100k and we were like, what the fuck is happening to us? I'm still convinced neither of us have a clue what we're doing. You need to look like you're squatting but not look like you're shitting, <laughs> which is so hard. Banana for scale. <laughs> Sips wine sassy. She's a hottie. Yeah, eat that. <laughs> so for the last date in this video, I thought I would just take myself on a little date. As cheesy as that is, and as much as I love having David and friends like Elena in my life, at the end of the day, you just gotta love yourself, you know? You guys know the majority of my life I've been single and vastly alone, but I learned at an early age to just enjoy hanging out with myself. You know, I'm a fun gal. I like taking myself out for a little drive on the town. I thought I would treat myself to my favorite pastime, which is basically just walking around new parts of LA and looking at all the cute houses and storefronts. I, I don't know, I'm a freaking nerd. So today we're gonna to go to a part of LA that I've never gone to before, which is Larchmont. I've heard it has like a New Yorky vibe, although I feel like people in LA never really understand what a New Yorky vibe really is. So it might just be like a couple storefronts and a bagel shop, but we're gonna find out. There is nothing for me but to love you And the way you look With each word, your tenderness grows, tearing my fears apart. And that laugh that wrinkles your nose, it touches my foolish heart. So lovely. Never ever ever change Keep that breathless charm Won't you please arrange it Cause I love I was right, there's a bagel shop And the way you look The way you look Just the way you Oh dear Good thing about this being LA and not New York is that They had dairy free cream cheese for my lactose intolerant ass I'm pretty sure if I asked for that in New York, they'd just laugh me out of the entire state. That's a great outfit. Oh, thank you so much! <laughs> that is the nicest response I've ever gotten to vlogging in public. Hey guys, so I'm back in my car now. Right as I was walking here, I got the strangest cat call I've ever received, which was just a guy who honked his horn at me once and then flashed me the peace sign out the window like, Sir, what do you think I'm gonna do? Like, I'm gonna see your face and this action and be like, stop, please, marry me, because your peace sign game is so strong. Anyways, cat calling aside, I thought the perfect way to end this day would be to drive up to a lookout point, overlook the city, sip my orange juice. Damn, I am such a good girlfriend to myself. Admittedly, the sun is already like 70% down, so I'm gonna drive real fast, not too fast, drive legally, kids. I'm going to drive 
at the speed limit, and we're gonna see if I can get there in time to watch the rest of the sunset. Okay, so the sun's already set, but this view is freaking gorgeous. Let me just show you. Keep that breathless charm. Won't you please arrange it? The fuck? How is this a real thing? Also, this is the part where I just play City of Stars from La La Land in my head. The way you look, just the way you look. Thank you so much for watching this video and a huge thank you to Revolve for sponsoring it and providing me all the cute outfits that I wore out on my dates. If you're interested in any of them, all the Revolve clothing is linked below. Otherwise, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It means a lot to me and I will see you guys next week. Bye!